Mapping in QGIS, creating a new shapefile. Often we acquire a data set which contains more geospatial data than we require. We can isolate and export that data in a variety of ways to extract the spatial data we need. In this video, we will use the selection tool to select only the open space, greenlands, and vacant areas. Once selected, we will export this data to create a new shapefile. Before proceeding, ensure that the selection toolbar is active. You can check by right-clicking at the top of your project window. Beneath Toolbars, ensure that the selection toolbar is active. With your data added to your project, move your cursor to the selection toolbar and select the Select Features by Value icon. When the Select Features window opens, you will see all the column headers appear vertically. In this case, we only want to select open spaces and vacant lands. Beside land use, click on the icon which says exclude field and select equal to. In the text box beside land use, type in open and select the open space greenlands. At the bottom of the window, click on select feature. In your map, the features will become selected. Next, let's add the vacant areas to our selection. Move your cursor back into the land use text box and type in and select vacant. Move your cursor to the bottom of the window and select the drop down menu and select add to your current selection. Our open green spaces and vacant lands are now selected in our map. Close the select feature window. To export this data as a shapefile, right click on the layer in the layers pane and select export. Save selected features as. Beside Format, ensure your format is set to Esri Shapefile. Beside Name, select the Browse icon to browse to your desired location. Provide your shapefile with a descriptive name and select Save. Beside CRS, select your desired coordinate reference system. Select OK. Your new shapefile has been created and will appear in your Layers pane. For more information on QGIS, visit the UTM Library QGIS playlist.